Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to install, how to use a PSP and an Android phone to create a, a laptop, um, not actually a laptop because actually it will be streaming the video and audio from your desktop on the PSP and uh, you will be using your Android phone as a keyboard and a mouse. So let me show you all the software, how to do this, but first you will need a PSP that's on a custom firmware any custom firmware will do uh, which can support uh, the software PSP disk uh, PSP disk let me go through this software first it's actually a software that uh, helps uh, you stream your computer uh, your desktops audio and video on your PSP and you can use the analog stick to move the mouse the box is the left click the X is the right click See, let's do a refresh yeah, there it is. And if you just want to use your PSP, you can use it for any purposes like if you are defragmenting your PC or if you are downloading some files you don't want to sit in front of your PC, you can just uh, enable this. Let us browse some sites and show you. Okay, let's go for uh, enter private browsing. And there are many other options, let's just go through them once. Uh, in change settings, you can change the display brightness of your PSP you can means these are not that much big of deal okay here you have to set all the i i your ip address of the pc and the other option is the clock speed you can underclock or overclock your psp cpu and you can set password also uh, then there is enable power saving reduce brightness and okay uh, no, nothing much special no way everything explains itself then in PC settings there are screen modes, uh, I am using right now the default that is fo follow mouse mode 2 where as you can see the screen just follows the mouse, see you will be able to see it here All right. now let's try the other screen modes, then there you can also set the viewport size the other screen modes are there is a follow mouse mode 1 which is just a little bit different than follow mouse mode 2 and there is the static viewport, I actually use the fifth screen mode which uh, actually fits the whole screen of your of your pc for the purposes of the video i think i will use the for follow mouse mode 2 only okay here we will go let's go to google.com and go select now press here you are this is google india you can actually use you can set the keys to be okay i will show it to, to you over here see here the sound stream is off right now and then control file you can set that to resident evil 4 now this will act as the uh, controller which you can use in other games like uh, nfs need for speed or something like that all right let's move on to the our android device and see. okay first of all you will you will need the software remote droid you don't have to hack your android for this it works on every uh, android uh, you are and you will need to install not only on your android but, but also the server version on your pc the remote droid can be downloaded from the market so let's start with you, you also you will have to enter the ip address of your pc and just press connect and that's it so this is the touchpad this is the right click and this is the left, left click so you can see there is a keyboard, the mouse pad and the screen. So hope you enjoyed it.